Okay. So where was I going? So this takes about three or four attempts what actually bloody works. I must sort that out. Right, so we've got 26 jumps until I hit Zeta Trianguli Australis. Let's uh, let's continue, shall we? Been. Was it worth? Let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's get out of the red zone first, though. Out of the red zone, and yeah, cool. Let's have a quick look. Well, do I bother? They're all going to be that's a weird orbit. It's loads, 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 loads. All rocky. Did I? <laughs> Am I bothered by this? Am I bothered? Nah, sod it, let's go. It's all rocky planets. I'm not fast. I'll uh, head out to the next one. do myself a small whiskey whilst I'm doing this just to uh, take off the edge right, what have we got here twelve I mean to be fair all these systems are gonna be previously discovered because I'm flying back across the centre of the battle. Well, no, 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 no. Have a quick look. That's what we got. I see. And Rocky. Right. Next system. Come on, let's do this. I don't think I'll do all 26 just jumps today. I don't know, could they? Couldn't I? Could they? But I will need whiskey. Right, come on. What have we got in this one? I'm okay for fuel. Two. Well, that sort of answers that one. Let's have a quick look at where I am in big steam things. Oh, look, so I've still got to go right into the thick of it. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, sh oh, where's that taking me? Is that taking me? Oh, no. That's not, I'm, uh, oh, I don't know. No, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. That's cool. That's cool. I don't want to get anywhere near that red stuff. P 
Pollux. See, so it's um. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's Shinrata. Shinrata. How do I get down to the level? I don't think I've mapped that, have I? It's a bit annoying. No, I haven't. Okay. Next system, next system, this guy, this guy. It's and if I find any decent planets on the way, maybe we'll do some exo. I don't know how much data I've got to hand in, to be honest. Exo wise, we've got quite a bit. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, why? That's cool. That is cool. Let's go. 14. We've got a few, just three with atmospheres. One really close to the star. Um, yeah, let's have a look. What have we got here? So we've got some high metal content ones. They're normally quite valuable, worth scanning. Um, and they are, that's that one there. Five. Five bio signals. First discovered by whatever. First mapped by Dennis. Dennis Babushkin. Nice one, Den. Okay, let's head this one. So we've got, shall we? We shall head to this one and see what type of biological signals there are. Still rotting corpse of a Thargoid. Unlikely. Unlikely. What do you want to go for? When he gets to 10, 75%? What do you reckon? 75%? Let's do it. That's better. Maybe a bit too. There we go. So we'll scan it. I will see what type of biological signals there are. And then I will target one of those for landing. C8. Two, one. So where am I heading? I'm heading for that one. The eight, two. No, C eight two one. There we go. Yeah, C eight two one. That's where I'm going. C eight two one. So it's the first one, the one that's closest to the sun. <laughs> and it looks too fast. Okay, let's go. What's the target? Four probes. Can we do it in four? Should be able to. So we'll do it like. So we want to go. No. Oh. One. So, let's go right behind, shall we? Surface scanned by 
C'est bon. Oh, really? Okay, alright, well, we'll do one more right in the center, shall we? Lovely. What's we got? Bacterium. We have bacterium. We have cactoidia. Cactoida, fungoida, osseus, frutexa. Where, where the, where's the cactoida? Get a bit closer, shall we? Do I need cactoida? Oh, look, there's. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna head for where's the best place to go for that's that big blue smudge there is probably the best one. We'll head for that. We'll head for the big blue smudge. There's a crater to the left. Yeah, I'll see now. That's where we want to go, isn't it? Let's try and go to the southern tip of it. down here that's what we want to do what's the gravitational put one point so it's 10 percent of what we've got here on mother earth That's fine. That's fine. Let's um let's deploy, shall we? Of course wow. Of course there's low gravity warning. For Cactoida. We'll start over there. Is 
Is that... Is that are they rocks or are they... No, they're cactoida. These little, look, the little red things. They are, look at that. I think they are anyway. They certainly look cactoidy. Ooh. Look like skin tags. Massive, massive skin tags. Let's have a look. There we go. Cactoida lapis. Okay, red. So, how far have I got to be to get. Uh, organic. There we go. Cactoida. 300 meters. There's more there, but there's one there. Arch. Right, let's go back in here, shall we? We'll send the ship off as well. We need to find some more. So we're at the southernmost tip. We're looking for little Could just be a rock. Just be a rock. Yeah, I think that's just. Don't know. What the canal's that? That's like a massive rock. I don't think I'm gonna. It's that them there. I mean, they look. No. I don't know. I'm not. I think it's just rocks, to be honest, but we'll see. Yeah, they're just rocks. Just rocks. I might have to get out and uh, stretch my legs just to see if there's anything. I want to keep that mountain to my right, if possible. Let's have a look. Let's just disembark here for a bit, shall I?
Alright, I think. So that was. Yes, yeah, that's my last scam was over there. 700 metres away. So we'll get back in my SRV. See, I don't know if these signals on the radar actually mean anything at all when it comes to the um, the scanning for bios. I don't think it does. Is there a correlation between a bio signal and no? I mean, it could just be pointing out minerals, you know, which is which is fine. But I want to be picking up. I want to be picking up bio signals, don't I? Let's jump out again. Bloody cacoidia, whatever it is, cactoidia. Don't want to venture too far away from my SRV. It's pretty barren out here. It's not a great deal to see. Is there anything else on the codex which may indicate some of that? Let's say about photosynthetic organisms that have adapted to extreme conditions by reducing their surface area to volume ratio, thereby producing. Uh, these are fields. These are fields uh, with insulating hydrophobic layer, which helps to maintain core temperature and liquid retention. Deep, extensive root structures hold the organs in place. Uh, some cactoid species of explosive. Uh, doesn't really say whether they are located in particular regions. Right, let's just get back here. No, I won't do that. Damn. That's a bit aggressive.
Look like little bread bins, don't they? Is that in there? So it's hard to tell from the distance if they are just rocks or if they are going to be hack. I've got a feeling it's cack. No, that's just a fucking rock. No. I see a little tinge of red there. I'm sure. Yes, I do. There we go. There's one. How did I spot that? Man's a genius. Right, let's get out and scan this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So, let's go and find this uh, final sample. Uh, all over here now. Bloody typical. Bloody typical. I need to get 300 meters away to get a more diverse sample. Um, anything less than that will be no good. Not that way. Well, I'm going to go and get a drink back in a second. Right, I'm back. I have a glass of uh, Gentleman Jack. It's nice. On the rocks.
Let's try and find me this third sample. Okay. Don't think. I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. I mean, these are. can't really differentiate between rocks and. the little. Uh, And it could be some stuff. No, they're just rocks. They're just rocks. I'm looking for some little boxes. Little footstools of cacoidia, cactoidia. It's just rocks, eh? Action. Ah. Might be something down there. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to damage this watch irreparably if I keep smashing against my desk. Hmm. I'm going to have to step out of my where's that mountain range over there okay how much damage is taking I'm running low of fuel actually I might need to uh, refuel let's do a bit of a refuel shall we um, see be over there it's like a little square lump there could just be a rock. There's lots of detritus all around. Hmm. Right, let's um yeah, let's uh synthesize synthesize so the refuel. Um, we'll just do that one. Basic, that's fine. Where am I going to go? I don't know. I don't... There's nothing really... Nothing really there at all, is there? Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Woohoo! Spotted. Surely that is 300 meters away from my last discovery. There we go. This could be it. This could be what I've been looking for. Let's have a look. So we're in the Artemis suit. That's got the, the built-in scanner, which is this tool. And how do you do the pulse? It took me ages to realize this. You. The button that's used to fire the pulse is the um, aiming your sights button. Green means, yep, yeah, go ahead and scan it, you haven't got it, or it matches what you've already got in your scanner. Blue means it's not diverse enough. Purple means it's a different species of bio object, what you're currently scanning, or you've already scanned it. But in this case, it's all new. So I've now got that. I've got a complete sample of that, which is good. And we will head back to my... Uh... <laughs> Actually, what we'll do first, we'll call the ship back. And uh, let's have a look, where's it gonna come from? might land over there somewhere that's my gut feeling come on in hello oh 
Да? There we come, so I heard it. Did you hear that? There it is. What a beautiful song. Seriously, every time I request it, it oh no, it's gonna miss me, it's fine. It's fine. What a beautiful sight. Cool. Right, let's get back into my uh, chariot and we'll go and board the ship. Here we go, boarding the ship. And I think for now, I'm going to end the session here and then we'll carry on to the next system edging ever closer to uh, Zeta Trianguli Australis. Um, do some more bio scanning on the way as well. 07 Commanders, take it easy.